And we're going to look at the three national parks up in the background of Sydney, up in the Blue Mountains, and we'll try and work out exactly what volume of water was dumped from the tsunami we imagine was three kilometres high and uh, compacting the valleys with sediment and uh, coming across Australia, so 3,000 kilometres. Here we're coming into the valleys. We'll look again at these, these irre irregular mountains with some of the valleys filled in. Now here, this valley, we can see right down where there's this would have been a raging torrent, a river. Now we're coming over Katoomba and we notice these triangular pieces where it's from the water wearing it down, water pouring over the top of this, filling this valley, coming over into these ridges, carving these ridges and leaving some sort of adhesive material, some materials. And we can see the abrasions on the hills now in the valleys. You can see some of the ridges here. And this would have been raging, foaming. And we'll go back up, have a look at some of the beautiful architecture that nature's left. Or the, let me see the uh, fingers here again, where the, uh, the material's been dripping off it, as well as the adhesiveness of the of the water, of the fluvial episode. This is why the Blue Mountains and Queensland, I'd say, the back of Brisbane have similar mountain ranges with the Glass Mountains. And Melbourne's completely different. And it's the same wave. And we come up here, we'll see a lot more abrasion and uh, sediment in the valleys where it looks like someone's compacted grease into some clippers here over here it's very chunky mm. self-explanatory and it's more It's as if something's run off. I mean, it's bit, the direction is that the water would have been travelling. And then we have these little carved out canyons. They use different resolutions on the Google Earth, whereas this green appears the colour of mud. But it is, as you can see by the mountains turned to hills, just worn down. Because it would have been a great volume of water at the start and it could have taken it'd have to travel the whole distance of north to south of australia to drain and draining out to south australia thousands of kilometers away see this is where the resolutions change but the appearance on the landscape this is it. It's a build-up of sediment more than the water's worn the mountains right down. But this is all the earth turns to wax. And the hills have melted. A bit quick there. In a hurry to get here. See, it's obvious there was a, a whirlpool of water here. You've got the sediment catch at that end, little drainage point that drains into the river. That's probably, third, I don't know, 6K, 7K wide. And this is where we have the emulsions that change. But we can see how the sediment's all drained. There's a drainage back down. To the, to the right is the east, which is where, which direction the beaches are in. So probably 80 kilometers inland. Still see there's some of the patterns in the landscape. Thanks for watching. Bye.